Here, whenever you guys are ready. Quiet on the set. When I was five years old, I always wear this t-shirt in my head. And my mom asked me how come I always wear the t-shirt in my head. And I said to my mom, Mom, this is my hair. I'm a girl. At the time, I didn't know what that meant, but I knew I was different, and my mom didn't know what that was. But my mom just fully supported everything that I did. But when I was 15 years old, my life changed. I started joining Transgender Beauty Pageant. That was my first job from 15 to 17 years old. I was having fun and being with friends. When I moved to New York City in 2005, I made a decision to not share my full journey as a transgender woman. For me, there's a sense of shame and fear. Um, I made that decision because I felt like that was my form of survival. But then, Last year, 30, 30 years old, I think I realized that I have a powerful story. Especially the transgender community in the Philippines gave me so much, so much love and opportunity since I was 15 years old. And I felt a sense of responsibility to share my story so people could see that dreams are possible. Sharing to the world about the most intimate moment of my life was a very scary process, but it's also something that liberated me. I am a woman. I am a transgender woman. And it's not easy for many people to understand that, but I'm not here to ask for acceptance. This is who I am. I'm not saying, please accept me. This is who I am. I'm not saying, please accept me. This is who I am. I'm not saying, please accept me. This is who I am.